Welcome everybody. I am Bill Courtright and thank you for joining me today on this episode of the Stress Mastery Podcast, Living Right with Bill Courtright, where we take you from the science to the spirituality of stress management. Hello, it's Connection Thursday. I am Bill Courtright. I am here with Super millennial David Barreto. How you doing, sir? Good, good. How you doing? You ready to rock this? Let's do it. So before we get started, um, I want to talk a little bit about the climber community because there's some questions that are coming through the Stress Mastery page and that and, and emails. So people are under the impression that to join the climber community because it's moving forward already, that they can't join in. Mm-hmm. And let me tell you how the climber community is being built. First of all, it's a community of like-minded people that are looking to create a shift. Happens to be the subject we're going to talk about today. And in the climber community, there is what is called base camp. And there's a series of videos that educates you on all the techniques and concepts that Bruce and I teach in the community. Now what we're doing is we're creating series and the series are actually the built around coaching. So we're doing the why series right now. Big why. Big why. Why they're figuring out their purpose, their values, their mission, and how to set goals properly. It's laying out, you know, the base of your growth as you climb your mountain. The next series is going to be the wellness series. We're going to get deep into diet. We're going to get deep into medication, supplements, exercise. Because what we're doing is we do these series in four-week spans. So you're getting lessons all the way through. So that's what the Climber community is. So it is set up that you can join anytime and catch up anytime. If you fall behind, it's okay. It's all about your climb. David? All right. And we also, coming up, we got the Ask Me Anything live web class. It's going to be Bruce and Bill talking about what you want to talk about. You ask the questions, they are going to answer it. So the email, I showed you the email, <laughs> right? You know, uh, the questions are, what is the right levels of testosterone? Uh, what is hormone replacement? Um, why am I tired in the afternoon? My adrenal function, what do you mean? Which part of the adrenal function am I in? I have so much wellness questions coming. And then we had some business questions, but I'm telling you, all those questions will be answered. We go as long as you guys have questions. And that's November 2nd at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. So, you know, I was sure you had something else to say. So, we have been discussing this week on transitions. We've been talking about transition. Today, we're going to actually talk about the shift. What is the transition like when you make a shift in consciousness? So, a shift occurs when we make a change in our predominant energy. We all have a predominant state. This is the sum of the programs within the cage. So if someone has more anger programs than any other, any other, you know, in their cage, and that's the predominant programs, this means that when they are stressed, the anger energy is the go-to energy. Remember, we're stressed every time there's anything rattles the cage, Mm -hmm. right? So that means when anger is your go-to energy, and this is their predominant state, it's a good bet that they're always stressed anyways, (laughs) right? Because they're going to be in the red zone if that's their energy. So people with a predominant anger energy have the anger energy characteristics. They will be aggressive, easily annoyed. They will be outraged at the smallest thing. They are stern, very resistant. They're, they're, they don't want any change. They have opposite viewpoints of the, the room. <laughs> I guess that's where I put it. They will be, always be irritated. They seem like they're irritated. And when things are going well, they will also have to jump in and put the negative spin on everything. So the distinctions of an angry person is impatience, their jealousy, and they can be mean. So the physiology of this person, this is this person's state, is a strong red zone. So a person with this state will suffer from high blood pressure. They may have digestive issues, sugar imbalance, and usually they might have some weight issues. Now, anger is a strong energy of action. 
So if someone has anger as a predominant energy, they may be a very driven person. And early in their life, they will reach a lot of their financial goals, their career goals. They'll strive, they'll push, right? But by the time they reach their mid-40s into their 50s, the machine will begin to shut down. They will then experience, they say people will start to experience adrenal issues. There are four levels of adrenal function. Level one is optimal, they're working right. Level two is adrenal insufficiency, a little bit off. Level three is adrenal fatigue, they're off. And level four is adrenal burnout, they're way off, <laughs> you know? So these people that have this anger predominant state have to, you know, have to hit level four. They have to hit level four, and that is adrenal burnout because their predominant energy is dictating this. It's a prediction. So they then start having all kinds of medical issues. They'll have pain. They'll have chronic fatigue, tiredness all the time, sleep issues. They'll have autoimmune issues. Um, they just have complete body breakdown. Now, the challenge for an angry, predominant state individual is that they live by force. So they will attempt to push on no matter what their body says. They are quitting, right? So what happens is when this person has had enough, they're done. They can't push anymore. They want to. They have desire to. They just can't go. They will make that decision to change. Now, what I just described is a former client of mine, and I'm going to take you through his shift, what happened. So the first thing that happened, he had to set the intention that he was going to change. So let's say, you know, they, they, they want to start shift coaching as this person started shift coaching. The moment they hire us, the moment he hired us, that was a huge step because the intention was set. Mm -hmm. The intention was set. Now, when he set this intention, the ego is not happy. This is a person who doesn't believe in asking for help, let alone hire a coach. So these are those people. These are these, man, we'd see them out there. They're very popular. Drive, 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 angry, you know. So immediately, the transition has begun. It has started. There is a shift toward the courage energy. So remember, this is a guy who's predominantly living in that level one energy. All of a sudden, he's at 200 courage. Why? Took action. Changes the vibration, right? Hired a coach. So in the first step, as he takes this shift towards courage energy, the first step, the tribe applauds him. The tribe is excited. They have lived in his wrath forever. So they are, they're all aboard. They're all on. Let's do this, right? Then we start sorting out his medical issues. We go to work on resetting his metabolism and getting adrenal function to kick back in. This is a huge transition in lifestyle. This person is hardly overweight, wasn't overweight, yet they're never dieting. They don't understand the dieting. This change obviously is going to rattle the cage and this is a big rattle within the tribe because He's no longer eating to escape. That was his go-to, eating to escape. He never was overweight, so he eat anything he wants, which means he is now eating consciously, transition to conscious eating. His tribe wants to please him with his favorite foods or what he wants to unwind with, a few drinks. Every night was a few drinks. This is very disturbing to the tribe as they attempt to pull him back. This is the tribe that applaud that he hired the coach. When the coaching begins to change, he's, you know, he's just, he, they're telling him, ah, one slice of cake can't hurt, one drink's okay, and that's what happens. He then starts the process of shift coaching. So he discovers his true inner purpose and his spiritual values. Another transition, as he now looks at the consequences of his actions, he still gets angry, but he now pauses the big change in his direction, he begins to follow his higher purpose. He wants closely to make sure that his life is, is matching his values. Big change for this guy. Again, the tribe is shaken. 
At work, they are confused. At home, they are skeptical. Sound familiar? Yeah, I think I have an idea. Yes. So as the coaching continues, he is clear on his direction and intention. He now creates focus in all five life categories. His career is shifting, his health is shifting, and his relationships are shifting. Then he gets deeper into the coaching. He has named his ego. He is shocked how much the ego is talking and how angry the ego is. Angry, he's pissed. His ego's pissed, right? The guy used to drive his actions. This creates the pause, plan, response, which shuts down the old anger programs that have dominated his entire life. He would tell you he can always remember being pissed off. If, 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 that's how you describe the guy. Uh, he's intense. That's how they'll say it. I go, what do you mean by he's intense? Well, he's just always pissed about something. So he says since he was little, he remembered that. So this also puts him, by this using the pause plan, into the green zone. And his health takes a big jump in the other direction, polar opposite. He, his health is now returning. He is taught then, as he continues to coach, the let go technique, the surrender technique. He is using the card. So if you're out there and you don't use your card, everything that we've taught you, and if you want to know what we're talking about, go to our libraries, or what's it called, books and courses, books and, courses. and go to video of the let go mm -hmm. technique four, and he'll explain it to you. He's using it, but this guy, was using his card all day long. I'll coach people, I go, well, how many times did you pull out the card? That means you're surrendering and letting go of a program? Well, I at least once or twice. No, this guy was pulling it out. I am not kidding you. He said, if I didn't pull that damn thing out a hundred times, I didn't pull it out once. Yeah, if we're talking about the same person you know, I have in mind, they went through a few cards. So <laughs> on the top of this, not only is he now doing the surrender technique, he is doing the green focus power hour each and every morning. This is a huge transition from hitting the snooze button, running out the door with a cup of coffee while listening to the news. That was his old routine. His coaching then hits another level. Each week, we continue to nudge him further and further outside his cage. He then experiences an immense release. Ooh, he has been warned. <laughs> so when this happens, an immense release is when the boulder blows up, the program is blowing up, and this could be a program with millions of thoughts on it. He had probably 40 years of programming and energy on that. And when it, it lets loose, he, was, he understood that it was letting loose, and he knew to sit with it no matter how long it took. The re this release changes everything. It releases the anger programs. This, along with his reprogramming that he's doing in his personal development, changes his entire state. The predominant state is no longer anger. He now has all five life categories at a 200 courage energy. What, what does this transition look like? Well, this is what it looks like. He makes this transition. His career and his work has a distinct direction and energy. He no longer forces things. He now lives in what's called a flow. His finances no longer stress him. He doesn't react to the natural ebb and flow of money. And now he prospers without trying. I think that's always funny when people say that because he works hard, mm -hmm. but he's not forcing the money. That's the key. We just saw it happen recently. We were a little tight. We had that project. We let it go, whoosh, money came in. Mm -hmm. Think about trying. it. Think about Without it. Trying. It flew in. Now, his health is incredible. Off medications, sleeping soundly, and he loves his diet and exercise routine. His relationships are interesting. He no longer acts out of anger, and he has empathy and love. But... He is finding many of his old friends are no longer calling or inviting him out. 
He used to go out and get drunk. That's what he used to do. He's not doing it anymore. At home, things are rather confusing. Understand, this is what's going to happen. They're confusing to his family. But again, he is not angry or reactive. The dynamics of his higher energy is actually bringing the entire family up. But his chains are so radical that they're not quite sure. They're no longer skeptical, though. Let's put it that way. It's been long enough. And then finally, the spiritual shift, the transition of energy shift, the consciousness. What does this look like? He continues to coach. And in shift coaching, there are four levels of coaching. He is determined to hit level four. I'll talk about these. We should do a show on the levels of coaching. And but he's determined. He wants to hit level four and attain the predominant energy of stress mastery. And that energy, remember, is the 350 acceptance surrendered energy, the 400 reason and embracing energy. And when you hit that, you're in a surrendered state and the outside forces of life no longer affect the inner being. So he hits it. What does his life look like in this state? Well, he's still working and building, but he is now surrendered and lets life come to him instead of forcing his way through. He has well-being, his understanding, warm and embracing to all, even if they are attacking him. See, he had a lot of angry people. You can't rattle him. It's impossible. It doesn't have the program to be rattled. So he is secure and stops looking at things as good or bad. There is no more good or bad. He trusts his intuition, which is really, he prospers more now than he did than he did when I met him. And he was successful when I met him. And he lives the wonder of the moment. Now, the story I shared is an actual client. I'm not going to mention his name. I worked with him some years back. I haven't asked the permission to mention his name. But the transition, while shifting our state of consciousness is a roller coaster ride. So he's actually he happens to be a high level CEO, um, self made, um, successful beyond years. But that's how he did it. He forced it through until his health took him down. And when he decided to come in and make this transition, it was very humbling for him to ask me for help. Actually, I was honored to coach him, but he wouldn't quit and he did anything I asked him to do. He was coachable. And that's a big deal because you have to surrender to the process. You have to trust me because he feels like crap and you don't just jump out of that shift in energy, right? It's not like today I decide to coach, tomorrow I'm better. Nobody does that. So the transition while shifting our state of consciousness is a roller coaster ride. You've got to understand that. It's a roller coaster ride in the beginning. As he progressed, he started studying more. And this is what happens to people. And he started studying more spiritual works. He did Course of Miracles. He read Autobiography of a Yogi. He started stretching himself in that direction. So he went to meditation retreats. This is a guy that couldn't stay calm for 10 seconds, sitting and going a weekend without talking and going to retreats and meditation, silence retreats. I love those. And he built his life, and he built the rest of his business, and the rest of his life, and he continues out of that higher energy. Now, to get there, he had to have courage. He had to have courage to take that roller coaster ride. It is a roller coaster. The courage to change his lifestyle, the courage to let go of lower energy people, the courage to trust the process in the end, the shift is well worth the work. For once you transition into this higher state of peace, love, freedom, and health, you are no longer, no longer seeking. You just are. So that's what it looks like when you make a transition into this. And this is a real this is a real deal guy. And you might know who he is. I don't know if you do, but he is a real deal guy. And I'll tell you when we get off air. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's not like medical things I can't talk about it, right? But I don't want to say it on air. He, plus, he's pretty, people would know him. And so you got to have the courage. The climber community, that's why I'm, I'm building a climber community. It's a good place to get started, especially if affordability is one of your things. That's okay. But when you invest in the climber community, when you invest in courses, when you invest in going to events, those investments take courage, but they mean nothing if you don't take action. So one of the things, again, you congratulated them this week, the people that signed up out of our last event, mm -hmm. Breaking Free event with Bruce Van Horn and myself, they all signed up for you for 30 days to hound them every single day to do the Green Focus Power Hour, and every one of them succeeded. That's a shift because they use the law of action. That's it for today's show. Remember, our mission here at the Stress Mastery Podcast is to create a shift in a planet. We just took you through what a shift looks like. Not a single human being on Earth can't accomplish this. It's a decision. So you can join us by simply like, share, and subscribe on the links below. Super Millennial, awful damn quiet in this show. Are you here? That was good. You like this show, huh? I was listening. Yes. It sounds like a lot of stuff that I've already went through. Like, not already, but that I'm going through. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's, it's cool to see the progression. Like, oh, I remember that happening. And, yes. oh, yeah, that happens because it happens to everyone. Every single one. That's why coaching is so important. Coaching is so important, especially when you get with the right coach because the right coach is going to move you forward. Anybody we're associated with, this is our coaching, mm -hmm. whether it's Aaron Scott whether it's Bruce Van Horn, David Barreto, Bill Courtright, we're all coaching under these methods. So, you ready? I'm ready. As always, until next time, stay, stay inspired. inspired.